Hey there and welcome back. So let's start on writing these uh, tests and make all the setup and install some dependencies because we need some uh, dependencies because we talked about Mocha and we talked about Chai. So let's first install those. So we're going to run npm install and then dash dash save dev. We will need Chai. We will need uh, Chai HTTP and then finally Mocha. So first we're going to install them and we're going to install them using the save dev whoop, flag here that will mark them as dev dependencies. So they will be put into the package JSON under uh, dev dependencies because they're not needed for running the API. They're just needed to test it. So they're not core dependencies. So that's why we have save dep uh, dev there. So we can see that npm has uh, finished installing uh, Chai and Mocha, and we can also see that it has created the dip dependencies with the version and also the packages. So that is uh, awesome there. The next thing is um, we have this env file that contains all the settings for the database. And now that we should have both development set up, we can see we're using cross env and node environment to set that this is uh, running in development mode. We also need some way to specify that we should set it in test mode. And the reason for that is that we should create a new env file that uh, will have the URL for a test database. Because it is not good that we use development or production database to test on. We should have a clean database that we can use just for testing. And we can see in MongoDB Atlas that we have this shop db dev. So there, I, ideally, there should be some other database called shopdb test that we can use and just and don't mess around in the development or the production database. So what we will do is we will go and create a new file called env and then test. And in that we will put the URL for our test database. So I'm just going to go to the env file and copy the URL and then change it to a test database. So we take the DB host, copy that, go into the env test. And then let's just modify it. So it says test over here. And then we also need to uh, create a new env file called .env uh, .development that will have our Uh, URL for our dev database. So we have split up uh, the databases now in an env development, env test. And then the .env file will only contain the shared properties, the port and the token secret and the REST API. Okay. So because then when we make our tests command here, we can just basically write node env and then test. So then we know in our tests that we're running this test database. So next up is that we should create a configuration file for Mocha. So we will create a new file called Mocha RC and then JSON. And what to put in here? Well, there is, if you go on GitHub and you search for Mocha and um, the official GitHub for Mocha, you can see that there is actually part of the repo that has uh, the configuration files and you can use both in javascript and json and in yaml and uh, also you can also read about the configuration file here so all the settings if you go follow that link there you can see that a lot of documentation for how it works all right so let's just take the json format here and let's copy this and uh, just note that you can see here that comments are allowed, even though that the comments are normally not allowed in JSON files. For the Mocha configuration, it will be ignored, uh, all the comments. So we just copy this and we paste it in here. And let's just see here, uh, this is the default setup and it's going to listen to watch all the files that are in a test directory uh, with the ending here. 
with the ending of js. So uh, that should be all right. So next up is that we should create this test folder so that we can have a folder where we can keep all of our test files in. And let's just create a new folder here called test. And there in there, we can create a new file, just an empty file for now called product test JSON. Okay. So the final thing we need to do before we end this video is that we need to go and configure the package JSON, the test script in here, so that we can see that Mocha is actually working and it is running the test here, but even though we don't have any test in this file yet. So let's go in here and write cross env node environment, it is test, and then Mocha exit. So then we're switching over to the test environment and we will run Mocha. And inside these test files, we can then use this node environment to change the database. So we use the test database instead. So if, let's see what happens if we run npm test. So we can see that uh, npm is running the script and it's running Mocha and it says zero passing because we don't have any tests yet in here, but we will start to code them in the next videos. So stay tuned for that, okay? So I hope you make this work and have fun with this. Bye-bye.